Americans have always understood this truth going back to the earliest days of our nation. Two months before the American Revolution broke out with the shot heard round the world, a group of patriots gathered along a bridge in Salem, Massachusetts. In the preceding months, British soldiers had confiscated muskets in Boston. You know the story well. Gunpowder was seized in Somerville, and the Patriots in Salem knew that the Redcoats would soon come for the town's cannons. But the Americans were prepared. They already loved our country, and they were determined to defend their rights to the death. When hundreds of British soldiers arrived at the bridge, the Americans stood firm, blocking their path. When swords were drawn, they didn't flinch. When the Redcoats tried to steal American boats, the Patriots sank those boats and sank them very quickly. When a British soldier held the tip of his bayonet against a man's chest, that man, Joseph Witcher, tore open his shirt and dared him to do his worst. Soon the crowd grew larger as civilians came from miles around to stand side by side with their great countrymen against tyranny. In the face of such unbreakable resolve, the King's soldiers had no choice but to admit defeat and failure and retreat. In the courageous actions of those early Americans, we see the defiant and determined spirit of patriotism that has always willed America to its greatest victories. It is a spirit that is passed down from generation to generation, from fathers and mothers to sons and daughters. It is the spirit that lives in each and every one of you. Our duty, our responsibility, our sacred charge is to preserve the freedoms that our ancestors gave their very lives to secure. Because no matter how many centuries go by, no matter how much the world changes, the central drama of human history remains the same. On one side are those who seek power, control, and domination. And on the other side are patriots like those in this hall who stand upright and plant their feet in eternal defense of our liberty. And with God as our witness, we swear today that we will defend our rights, we will safeguard our freedoms, we will uphold our heritage, we will protect our Constitution, and we will make America stronger, prouder, safer, and greater than ever, ever, ever before. To all of our incredible friends at the NRA, thank you for fighting the good fight. It is an honor to fight by your side, and it's an honor to be with everyone in this giant hall today. I am with you. I will never, ever let you down. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you.